So hello again, and thank you so much for watching part two of this uh, video series on condition-based maintenance. Part of our series is to expose you to some of the features and functionality within Maximo that you may or may not be familiar with in support of CBM. So my name is John Q. Todd. I'm one of the senior business consultants and product researchers here at TRM. I'll be your guide for the next few minutes. Let's start part two. Very quickly about total resource management. We've been implementing Maximo for almost 30 years now in just about every industry you can think of. We're also an ISO 27001 registered cloud host. So let's get going with part two. Part one was a quick look at meters and measurement points, something you probably already know about. We'll take a look at some of the newer tools that are in the system in this part here. So there's a lot to talk about, so let's linger just a little bit. You already know that users can update meter readings directly on the meter defined to the asset or location. This would be performed by way of the asset or locations application. Not the most desired method, but it is simply built in. Another method is by way of a work order. Much the same way, a user can enter a meter reading on a meter associated with an asset or location that is related to the work order. If the equipment is in for service, a job task could be to capture the relevant meter readings. Work orders could also be issued for the sole purpose of capturing meter readings. But with the advent of inspection forms in Maximo and of course Manage, we have another tool available. So let's take a look at them. Inspection forms can be built to capture a wide variety of information about your assets and locations. Think of them as a checklist for your teams to follow and capture conditions, meter readings, and other information that you can then use for decision making. Once the forms are created, they can be associated with assets or locations. They can be triggered by a PM definition as part of a job plan or on a work order directly. They can also be on route stops. Inspection forms can be done in an unscheduled or unplanned fashion as well. No matter what triggered their use, the inspection form and its results appear under the work history of an asset or location. The key here is the ability to capture meter readings on the inspection form, yet another way to get meter readings updated. Taking another step back, this time to address the automatic meter reading updates. There's now an additional way to do that. As you know, Maximo has several methods available to interface with external systems for data. This is known as the MIF, where you can establish connections to those external systems to pass flat files, read database tables, or use REST-based web services to bring data into Maximo. Your Maximo may already be interfacing with an accounting system, a purchasing system, using one or more of these methods. There's a new method intended specifically to bring in data from equipment sensors and other sources of telemetry data. It's configured by way of the Administration Work Center, something you might not be too familiar with in Maximo or even in Manage. Once there, you point your Maximo to the IoT platform, of which IBM provides in the cloud, or if you're running Application Suite Manage, it's in that instance already. Then you map the devices defined in IoT to your assets and the meters in Maximo. Activate the connection, and now your meters are receiving real data directly from the source of equipment telemetry. So to wrap this up and get you on your way to piloting this approach, let's review a little bit about what we've learned. Updating meter readings are key to the success of your CBM system. They can be done manually a number of different ways or automatically via several different technical methods. Making the associations between assets or locations, PM definitions and meters is easy. Equally easy is setting up measurement points and establishing actions that happen when a threshold is ex exceeded. You may quickly find how valuable all of this meter reading data is to your overall view of the health of your equipment. So that's the end of part two. Thank you so much for watching both part one and part two with us. You can always contact us at trmnet.com. That's trmnet.com. And you can always find me on LinkedIn. Enjoy the rest of your day.